okay so here are the components required so this is the IR sensor you have already seen so here you can have the uh, pins like a left pin will be the out pin that that is the data pin middle one is the ground pin and right one is the VCC pin so uh, on the back side also you will have the num uh, naming so VCC and ground will be connected to the 5 volt supply of Arduino and the ground of Arduino and the out pin will be connected to the pin number 2 of the Arduino then this is the Arduino okay this is the Arduino uh, then we are going to use one uh, DC motor so this is the DC motor which will uh, be of a 12 volt supply type okay which has two terminal and then I am going to use this particular 12 volt uh, power uh, supply uh, to run the motor because motor is of uh, 12 volt supply so this is you can see 12 volt 2 ampere power source now here basically the output from the Arduino is 5 volt whereas the motor which I want to run is of 12 volt so there should be something in between so that the 5 volt signal will be given to that and the 12 volt uh, supply will be uh, given to the motor through that particular module and that is nothing but the uh, relay so this is the 5 volt SPST uh, relay which will be uh, used or which will be taking the 5 volt as the input supply and uh, 12 volt output supply will be given over here so we will see the pin out over here total there are basically 6 pins on this uh, uh, relay so we can see the pins so here there are 3 pins uh, from the green bulb you can see there is a VCC pin ground pin and then you have the uh, in pin in is nothing but which is nothing but the uh, output coming out from the Arduino will be given to the in pin of this uh, relay so the left left one is the VCC pin then the ground pin and then the in pin likewise these three pins are there and on the other side uh, you will have uh, the three pins uh, NO common and NC okay so basically uh, the 5 volt supply which is coming out from the Arduino will be given over here okay on this particular side and the 12 volt supply will be connected on this side so what happens basically as you know uh, the IR sensor will have the output as a, a zero or the low when it's sensi sensing the object. So what I'm going to do over here that uh, at the common I'll be giving the positive supply of the uh, 12 volt uh, power source and uh, from the NC I will connect that particular terminal to one of the terminal of the uh, motor okay so this is the uh, motor over here which has two terminals so one terminal of this NC will be connected to one of the terminal of motor and the other terminal will be connected to the remaining terminal of the power source so if you see the power source so this is the power source output okay so power source will have two pins one is the uh, positive pin and other one is the uh, ground pin so the red one is the positive pin so the red one will go to the common of this particular relay okay at uh, middle and from NC because NC stands for normally closed so this is the normally closed type of uh, relay so from NC uh, one terminal will be connected to the uh, one of the terminal of motor fine so we'll see the uh, connections over here one by one fine so what I'm going to do I will have the breadboard on breadboard what I'm going to do I will be uh, mounting the uh, what you can say the IR sensor and uh, the pins will be taking over here okay fine so i'll just keep it like guys so this is what the ir sensor i have mounted already on the uh, breadboard okay and on the back end i'll have the pins three pins over here fine so we can have that is from uh, left i'll be having vcc ground and the out so the red one will, will be the vcc pin then middle is the black one which is the ground pin and the yellow is nothing but the out pin fine so what i'm going to do i will have the arduino over here and from arduino first of all i'll take the 5 volt supply and the ground on the breadboard okay for that i'm using the uh, male female lines over here fine so we'll go one by one so here there is the 5 volt supply okay so uh, v in ground ground and 5 volt okay so that 5 volt supply i'll be giving to breadboard over here you know the function of breadboard okay then uh, we will have one more wire fine 
which I'll be using for ground okay the ground will be given over here okay fine now what I'll do to power the IR sensor the positive or the VCC supply of IR sensor that is red line I will connect it to the 5 volt supply which is coming from the Arduino then the black is nothing but the ground pin that I'll connect over here to the ground pin fine then the out or the data pin of this particular IR sensor I'll be connecting to the pin number 2 of the Arduino I'll be connecting to the pin number 2 of the Arduino so this is the the first pin that is the uh, pin number 0 okay so this is pin number 0 then pin number 1 and you'll have the pin number 2 over here okay so I am putting the yellow line in the pin number 2 now what I am going to do I will take the uh, pin number uh, 13 from the Arduino okay I will take the pin number 13 from the Arduino and uh, that connection I will be giving to the uh, IR sensor over here fine sorry to the uh, relay fine so what I will do I will have the uh, relay first of all okay this is the relay I am having I will keep the relay some, something like this so that it will be clear for you okay so what I will do now I will take the pin number 13 output okay so you have the pin number over here fine so I will just have the counting pin number 8 9 10 11 12 and 13 okay so pin number 13 this is the pin number 13 which will be given to the uh, here you can have on the relay there is written as in okay so to the in pin I will be giving the output of the Arduino fine so I am giving the output over here then plus uh, 5 volt supply obviously I need to power the relay as well so plus 5 volt supply will be given to the VCC pin of the relay so that is the leftmost pin okay so VCC pin I am giving the supply over here okay and then I will have the what you can say the ground pin okay so ground supply from the breadboard fine I will take it to the center of the pin which is nothing but the ground center pin of the relay rather so this is the ground pin fine so this is what the left side of, one side of connections are done on the other side as I uh, said earlier we will be connecting the positive supply of this particular 12 volt supply to the center of this and the nc connection will be connected to the motor over here fine okay so i will connect it okay so you can see the connections over here now the yellow line that is which is going to the common over here okay so this is the yellow line which is connected to the positive supply of the 12 volt supply the negative of the 12 volt supply has connected to one of the terminal of uh, the uh, motor over here so this is the motor and the other terminal of uh, the motor which is over here uh, is further connected to uh, see this line okay white line is connected to the nc of the uh, relay okay so here it is connected to the nc now what we will do we'll just upload the code and we will run it fine okay so the code is already uploaded now you can see uh, this, there is the motor this is the motor uh, this is the relay both the lights are on and on the IR sensor on the right hand side a light is on so when the IR sensor senses the object uh, there is one light on the left uh, left of this IR sensor it will also get on while the uh, green light on the relay will get off and the motor will uh, run okay so this is how the operation will uh, be happening fine I'll just keep my hands in front of the IR sensor see so when I take the hand the IR sensor gets sensed and motor will start whereas the light a green light of the relay got off see when I take the hands off it will stop so this is how you can perform the uh, what you can see you can connect any appliance now here instead of suppose I, if I want to have the another 12 volt appliance I can instead of motor I'll just connect that particular appliance whichever is required if you want to turn on and off the AC lights let's say with this particular thing then you can just give instead of 12 volt supply you directly give the uh, 
240 volt AC supply to the uh, this side of the uh, relay okay this side of relay will be giving the required uh, 240 volt AC and accordingly you can connect the appliance whichever is required so this is what the thing you can learn over here fine thank you